Hey there, today I'll be showing you some useful extensions on the GNOME desktop environment on Linux. The first extension is called Caffeine. The Caffeine icon looks like a coffee cup. If you click on the icon, it will say Auto Suspend and Screensaver Disabled. This means that your laptop won't go to sleep. I use this when I am rendering my videos and I am AFK from the keyboard. The next extension is called Clipboard Indicator. Clipboard Indicator adds an indicator to the top panel and caches clipboard history. If you copy something like the word 5, you'll see that we have currently copied the word 5 on our clipboard which is indicated by this black dot. Now I can copy the word 6 and it will show you that we have 6 copied to our clipboard. You can click any word or any piece of paragraph from the clipboard history and copy it to your clipboard. For example, if I want to copy this, I simply click it and if I press Ctrl V, you see that we have copied over the whole paragraph. The next extension is called Dropdown Terminal X. Dropdown Terminal X is really useful for people who need quick access of the terminal. If you go into its settings, you can set the shortcut. My one is set to Alt M. You can change its position and also change the colors of the terminal. There is also a feature to enable tabs. If I hit Alt M on my keyboard, you will see that the terminal drops down from the top. You can use this terminal like the regular terminal you use. It also has the features of adding new tabs. If I hit Shift Ctrl T on my keyboard, you will see that the second tab is added. I can also delete tabs by simply hitting Alt L on my keyboard. The next extension is called Emoji Selector. I find the Emoji Selector extension really useful as there are no distributions on Linux that have built-in emoji selectors. You can click on the icon and you can choose any emoji you want. For example, if I select the smiley face, I can paste it in here and you see that we can see it. You can also view it in the clipboard history. Emoji selector also allows you to search for emojis. For example, if I search for joy, I can simply click it and copy it to my clipboard. The next extension is called extensions. The extensions extension allows you to enable and disable extensions from your top panel. The icon looks like an ad symbol. So if you click on the icon, you can enable and disable extensions. For example, if I click on the caffeine, it is already enabled. You can see the icon right here. I can click it to disable it. And you see that it disappeared from the top bar. You can also enable it simply by clicking it again. You are also able to access extension settings simply by clicking the gear icon next to the extension. For people who like minimalism, the GTK title bar extension is really useful. The GTK title bar extension removes title bars from non-GTK apps with minimal interference with the default workflow. So what this does is it removes this top title bar. If I enable it, you will see that this top title bar will disappear. and you can see that it has disappeared. The Impatience extension allows you to speed up the GNOME shell animation speed as well as slow it down. If I enable the extension and go into its settings, you can change the speed scaling. This is how fast or slow the animations will happen. If you set it to 2, it will be extremely slow. So you can see that the animations are really slow right here. You can also set it to 0 which means that 
the animations will be disabled. The next extension is one of my favorite extensions that I regularly use. It is called Invert Window Color. As you can see, I have already enabled it. What this allows you to do is if you press the super and then I key on your keyboard, super I, you can invert the colors of a specific window. This is really helpful when you are working at night on a project. The next extension is called lock keys. I do not use this extension as much, but sometimes I make use of it when doing YouTube tutorials. If I enable it, you will see that this A icon shows up here. You can go into its settings and change whether you want nums lock only, caps lock only, or both. If I hit my caps lock button, you will see that it shows the indicator. Screenshot tool lets you conveniently create, copy, store, and upload screenshots. It lets you upload screenshots to a web library which is called Imgur. The icon looks like a camera as you see here. If you click on it, you can select the area, select window, select desktop. If you go into its settings, you can also change the key binds. So go under the key bindings tab and you can change the key bind. Mine is set to Alt X. You can also enable Imgur Upload. I have enabled Imgur Upload, Notifications and Auto Upload after Capture. It also auto copies the link after upload. If you click on the key bindings that you have set, it will bring up this crosshair and it will allow you to select the area. Give it a second and it will upload it to the Imgur. You can see it says uploading to Imgur. Imgur upload successful. It says copy link but it is already copied to our clipboard. So if I paste it in a new tab, you can see that we have the link copied and now we can view our image. The last extension is called switcher. You can go into switcher settings and set hotkeys for activating the launcher or activating the switcher. The switcher extension allows you to switch between different applications or open up applications. So if I hit the keybind on my keyboard, which is Windows X, you will see that I can select something that I would like to start up. For example, if I choose the weather, it will open up the weather application. If I hit the keybind on my keyboard to activate switcher, which is Alt W, If I hit the keybind on my keyboard to open up the switcher, it will show you the same thing but it will allow you to switch between applications. I can select Firefox and hit enter to switch over to Firefox. I can also switch back over to our extensions. So that is about it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you found some of these extensions useful.